Hey, Trainer Pete here, the owner of 101 Fit Studio. Thanks for checking out your January workout weekend workout challenge. Now, I hope everyone's motivated uh, this January to really get things going in 2013 because this one's a little bit tougher than the past ones. Still should only take you about 20 to 25 minutes depending upon your fitness level. But we have uh, five exercises and I'm going to have you do um, them all in a circuit without stopping at all. The idea is to keep it moving. You really don't want to take rest periods with this workout. Now the first thing you're going to do is it's going to be a full plank. You're going to be in the top of the push-up position and then I want you to squeeze your stomach tight. Don't put any pressure on your back here. You don't want to let your hips sag down into it at all. Alright, so tight stomach. Now I want you to hold that as long as you can without putting pressure or feeling it on your back. And you're going to time yourself. Because the idea is as you go through this workout each weekend, I want you to try to beat that time. Alright, so you're going to time yourself for a plank. Then you're going to hop right down. You're going to do some reverse crunches. The legs are in the air. Knees are bent just a little bit. Shoulders and head is off the ground to keep your stomach tight and already feel a little bit of crunch there. Then it's a real short range of motion. See if you can lift your hips off the ground just a touch and get that extra squeeze in your stomach. Very important with these, you don't want to let any momentum get involved and really concentrate on squeezing the stomach there. You're going to do 15 to 20 repetitions there. I would say 15 reps if you're just getting back into the fitness or uh, go for 20 if you're a little more advanced. Then right after that, you're going to stand up, do some reverse lunges. All right, so you're going to take a step back, and then you're going to pull forward. Do that front leg, step back, pull forward. Real important with these, make sure you're pulling through that front foot rather than pushing off with your back foot. And see how my knee is staying right over my ankle here. Okay, so again, if you're a beginner, go for about 10 repetitions each leg. If you're more advanced, go 15 repetitions each leg. If you're really advanced, you can even hold on to some weights for that to make it more challenging. Then, right after that, you're going to do push-ups to failure. Alright, so back to that push-up position. This time you're actually going to do the push-up though. Bring your uh, shoulders down as far as your elbow and then bring it right back up, keeping your body in a nice straight line. If you can't do full push-ups, just drop down, put your knees down, do some modifies. Same thing though, keep your hips in line, tight core the whole time there. Now with the push-ups, this is another one I want you to go to failure. So do as many as you can while keeping good form. And each weekend you should be able to beat those numbers. Okay? And then the last one, we got some squat rows. I want you to use a weight. One big weight. You're going to hold it on each side. You're going to keep your butt back in a squat position. Just let the weight hang down naturally. Lift, leading with your elbows and squeezing your back. Here, to here. Okay? So, I want you to do 15 repetitions there, pick a weight where it's going to make it really tough for that 13th, 14th, 15th repetition especially. If it's easy once you get to 15, then you're not using heavy enough weight. Alright, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Like I said, do those five exercises in a circuit, go around four times, try to keep moving the whole time with no breaks.